Okay guys, let us continue. This is the third clip, alright? So we said in this clip we're going to be adding buttons. We've inserted labels, text fields, and uh, the heading or the title of our design, right? So now we need to be able to insert map buttons. Maybe we, I think if I can expand this, can I be able to expand it like this one? Yes, I want to just move it so that it goes uh, to the far right so that I am able to add my buttons in here. So to add buttons, I'm just going to go back into the insert tab and then in the insert tab, I'm just going to say shapes and then in here, I'm looking for what? I'm looking for a button, right? And then do we have any button that is uh, predefined or maybe pre uh, pre-designed in here? If we do not have such button or such thing or such element, what we can do, we can design one for ourselves, right? So I'm just going to design a button in here, and that button is going to Based based on the shape, this one, right? So I'm going to add them here. We will have, uh, I think, two buttons. The the first one will be the the next customer, and then maybe the second one will be the. Oh, let me just style one. I'm going to copy it after styling the. This one so i'm just going to say add text and then type in here next uh customer the other one is going to be print right and then what i'm just going to do I'm, i need to style this one my next custom customer to be a little bit uh something like this right and then here i need to make it uh Make it 12. Make it. Oh, I can just. I can just remove the customer here to make things uh, clear to you. Yes, I can just remove the customer here. I'm just going to use the next. And then I'm just going to style it. Edit. Maybe make it 14 or 16. Something like this. And then it is centered right. That's good. And then uh, I need to style the button so that it looks like one. It should look like a button. So I'm just going to. Uh, no, 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 I do not. Okay. The, 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 the text color is fine. But I was looking for this. This is what I was looking for. And then this is the color that I think is more like this one. It, 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 it will match with this one so then now I need to style my button maybe with the shape outline uh, no no shape effects I want to add my shape effects no something like like it must be it must be a button something you know some something sort of something sort of oh so reflection reflection is it okay reflection is to that's too much 3d and rotation what about that one? Ah, that's too much. Uh, shade shading. Yes. This one is inside. This one is uh, outside. Is yes. I need this one. That is that. That looks like it has been raised or something. Something like this one. Yes. Then now you can see that this is a form or this is a pattern, right? So what I'm just going to do? I'm just going to duplicate this one. And then, what is happening in here? Because I tried to this 
ये वो अन ऑस कॉपिंग एंड देन ऑस पेस्टिंग यस एंड देन आई नीड टू पेस्ट इट इन ही ये राइट एंड देन ही आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू ट्राइ टू टाइप इन लाइक इट प्रिंट समथिंग लाइक दिस and then now you can see you see this thing is working right whilst you are looking on your own you can tell what okay this thing is functional so this is what i want to see from your from your designs e this thing or this system or maybe this interface now if it's designed like this we can take this interface and give it maybe to uh to a software developer right and then the software developer is going to design a point of sale system for us out of what we have designed i think now you're getting the, the idea of uh, doing the cad or e computer aided design right we can take this now send it to a software developer and then the software developer can be able to design or develop a fully functional software that will have buttons that will be clickable that will have text fields that will be created that will uh, uh, those uh, text fields that will, will be functional like they will be calculating like you can implement this in excel right but now as i as i said in class we are we are we are doing the opposite we are taking from excel and putting it uh, into into here other than maybe taking this and implementing it with excel or maybe with microsoft access so you can also continue style maybe you can even style your form try to look uh, shape, look for shape effects that maybe fit the form shape effects that are like yes shape effects that are more like making the form to be more of or more life you understand you can try and play around with these things and then try to come up with something that that looks life and then what you are going to do after doing this thing you are just going to save this thing and then uh, zip it with all of your assignment relating to this one and then send it to me type in your name your your class your course and then sending it to me so that i can can be able to to mark over it otherwise this is the basic of what i want you to do